Hi, hello, this is Mr. <laughs> Obvious, and welcome to the Mr. Obvious Show. Let's take a call. <laughs> Mr. Obvious Show. Um, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? Speaking. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Obvious, a uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. Well, thanks very much for the call. Well, thank you, Mr. Obvious, for taking my call. Well, you're very welcome. All right, bye. Now, remember, if you have a problem, you too can call the Mr. Obvious Show and speak to me personally. My that name? It's why? It's Mr. Obvious. You know? Let's take another call. Mr. Obvious Show? Um, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Obvious. Uh, long-time listener, second-time caller. Well, welcome to the program, caller. How can I help? Uh, well, Mr. Obvious, I, I need some advice on cooking a turkey. Well, to be quite honest, caller, it's not as difficult as it may sound. Well, then that's what they say, Mr. Obvious, but... Uh, I tell you what, I, I tried cooking one the last five years, and uh, I, I just haven't had any success. Well, now, let's start at the beginning. Do you have a big roasting pan? I well, sure do, Mr. Obvious. Good. Now, do you have an oven? <laughs> well, of course I do, Mr. Obvious. <laughs> I'm no idiot, Mr. Obvious. I, I'm not like a lot of those people that call your show. Oh, well, now, please don't take offense, caller. It's just that sometimes my callers are, well, uh, how should I put this, a little naive. Oh, I got you, Mr. Obvious. So again, caller, don't take offense at this question. Do you mm -hmm. actually have a turkey? Sure, Mr. Obvious. I got a nice big 25-pound uh, turkey. Whoa. Great. Well, mm -hmm. caller, I, I don't mind telling you that you do, in fact, seem a little more astute than many of my callers. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Mr. Obvious. Coming from you, that means a lot. Okay, you have a turkey, you have a pan, you have an oven. Have you stuffed your turkey, caller? Oh, yeah, that, that's all done. Preheated the oven? Yep. Again, caller, I don't want to belabor the point, but you really seem to have something on the ball. It's callers like you that I hope to attract when I first started the Mr. Obvious program. Thanks again, Mr. Obvious. Makes me proud. In fact, Mr. Obvious is a little bit puzzled at this point as to why you haven't been able to successfully cook your turkey in the past. Well, I, I am too, Mr. Obvious. All right. What exactly has happened in the previous years when you tried to cook your turkey? Um. Well, you know, usually the, the problem is... That the turkey's just, just too tough. Hmm, too tough, you say? Oh, yeah, real, real tough. Now, do you baste the turkey? Uh, yep, I, I tried that, and uh, uh, it, it didn't seem to help. Have you thought about putting the turkey in a bag? In, in a bag, Mr. Obvious? Yes, sir, recaller. Many people swear by this method of cooking a turkey. That, that sounds kind of hard, Mr. Obvious. Hard? Why, why no, caller, it's not hard at all. <laughs> Well, if you say so, uh, can you hang on a second? I, I can give it a try while I got you on the phone here. Well, uh, normally Mr. Obvious is pressed for time, but for a caller like you, I'll spare a few seconds. Go ahead, put your turkey in the bag. I'll hold on. Great. Thanks, Mr. Obvious. Uh, I'll be right back. All right. Come here, boy. Get in this bag. What? What's here going, now? What's going on there? Oh, oh, no. Calm down, what? boy. What the heck? Oh, get in the bag, little fella. What? What's going on there? Oh, Call, don't caller. Don't fight me. Caller. Oh. Hello? Oh, Dad, scum it. Oh, why do I even try? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, uh, Mr. Obvious? Uh, yeah, yes, caller? Yeah. It's not going to work. I'm telling you, he's just too tough. I, I can't get him in there. I figure even if I did get him in there, if he can get out of a roasting pan like he has in the last five years, I, I don't see how paper bag is going to hold him very long. Uh -huh. Your turkey's alive, isn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's alive. There's no doubt about that. He's, he's a tough old bird. Uh -huh. You've been trying to cook the same... Live turkey for five years, Carl? Sure have, and uh, haven't had a bit of success, <laughs> Mr. Obvious. Well, I can't help but saying Mr. Obvious is saddened by this turn of events. <laughs> and I know what you mean, Mr. Obvious. Uh, my little girl, she gets sad every year. <laughs> Trying to pop this dog on turkey in the oven. Well, apparently, I'm not the judge of character and intellect that uh, I presumed that I was. Uh, Caller, hey. Hey, here's an idea. Have you ever thought about killing the turkey? <laughs> Tell you what, Mr. Obvious, I've sure thought about it a couple times. Man, when that sucker bites me, I just want to wring his neck. Sometimes all that goblin drives me up the wall. I've never been so mad that I actually seriously thought about killing him. Uh-huh. Caller, you, you can't cook the turkey until he's dead. <laughs> Really? Yes, really. You cook dead turkeys, not live ones. Hmm. 
Uh, I never made the connection. Yeah. Hey, that's all the time we have for today. Hey, Mr. Obvious? Yes, Colin. Thanks, Mr. Obvious. You're a lifesaver. I appreciate it. Join us next week for another. Hey, Mr. Obvious? Yeah. Uh, one more thing. Uh, uh-huh. How long do turkeys typically live? Join us next week for Mr. Obvious. Show. <laughs>